Hello everyone. Why did I literally just do that intro like, oh my, I look like I'm chronically online. Why did I do that? I am sure that you have clicked on this video for one reason and one reason only. And that is because Reckless by Lauren Roberts just came out the other day and you're going to be reading with me. I actually just finished reading it. So this is future Chloe doing the intro of this video. This is gonna be a spoiler free reading vlog. If you don't want literally anything spoiled, then this video isn't for you. But if you're okay with me talking about some general plot points, you're good. I don't reveal the cliffhanger. I don't reveal like any plot twists or anything like that. But I do go over some of the plot points and some things that happen with Peyton and Kai's like romance, but I wouldn't call them spoilers. I did get the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Reckless. Look how pretty she is. Yes. Um, without further ado, let's get into reading Reckless by Lauren Roberts. This book will be the death of me. Also really quick, this is me editing right now. I forgot to add that my book club on Fable, it's completely free. We're reading Reckless this month. And if you want to read Reckless right now, the little book club kind of wrap up thing goes until August 1st. So you still have plenty of time to read the book, leave your thoughts on different chapters and things like that. But I'm going to put the link for the Fable Book Club down in the description. I really, really hope you join. It's so fun. So make sure you join. It is T minus one minute until the second installment of the Powerless Trilogy comes out. It is T minus one minute until Reckless by Miss Lauren Roberts come out and I could not be more freaking ecstatic. Oh my gosh, it's 12. This is my most anticipated book release of 2024. I hope you can feel just how excited I am through the screen because I am, I don't think you understand, I'm absolutely ecstatic. Kai Azer, I'm ready to see him fumble. I'm ready to see him absolutely hunt down Payton enemies to lover style. Okay, let's see if I can get the audiobook. Let's see. Real footage of me going absolutely feral for Reckless by Lauren Roberts because I want to read it now. Yes. Oh, maybe my library already has it. Libby to the rescue, please. About a 14 week wait. Uh, it just came out four minutes ago. How are there already like 180 something people? on this dang list and why is a kindle book 12.99 why is a kindle book 12.99 you have got to be kidding me my brain is so infiltrated with brain raw i'm so sorry i'm so sorry you did not deserve that you know a lot of people hate on powerless because it is so much like the hunger games and red queen and blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> look me in my eyes i don't care <laughs> look me in my eyes I don't care. I eat it up. I'm I'm gonna be so real with you. The first little bit, especially when they're like interviewing all that stuff, I was like, oh, this is just, my mom said it too. My mom is a powerless girly. My mom is a Kai Azer girl. She was like, yeah, that was such a ripoff from the Hunger Games. And I was like, yeah, the first half, the first half is a little, you know, I don't care because I still loved it. And I can look past that, you know? And then the ending was phenomenal. If you have been debating about reading Powerless, the tension, crazy. I hope my Barnes & Noble order actually makes it here tomorrow because they're like, oh, should be there by release date. And then it'll be like, oh no, JK, actually it is getting shipped out on release day. So you are still not getting it for three to five days. And I'm like, bro, Amazon does not do that to me. Usually Amazon delivers it on release day. Come on, Barnes & Noble. Why does it still say it's processing? Why isn't it shipped out? Typically arrives in three to six business days. Okay, well, since my thing is not shipped, I guess I'm disappointed. I will come back when I actually get the book or a copy of the book. Maybe one will open up at the library. Okay, 
so I just got to like the first major plot twist in my opinion. It did surprise me but it wasn't like it wasn't crazy because it was already foreshadowed towards the beginning of the book with something Kai asked her. So then when it actually came up I was like yeah when you actually do think about that that plot twist makes sense. Sorry I haven't been talking to you guys. I'm gonna be I'm almost done with it. I only have like that much little teeny bit to go but I'm gonna be so honest like the book is good I was engaged but the whole middle part obviously the whole premise of this book is that she has to run from Kai and he's like catching her it's just like it's so repetitive I wish there was something more to the plot because it's like ooh, she's running away from him and then he gets her and then she gets away and that happens like five times where he gets her and then she gets away and then ooh, they're running away together because of whatever happened but oh they got away and now like it's just it's been like super repetitive up until the three quarter mark like the 75 percent mark because now is like where the plot twist is happening and the premise is that they're enemies now so their banter is not going to be the same as the first book like i get it they're still they don't get me wrong they still they still like flirt with each other but it's not nearly as heavy as the first book until like where I'm at right now. But like I wish something, I don't know what, would have been done a little bit differently to keep it from being so, so repetitive. Like I didn't feel like it was furthering the plot after like, oh I don't know, the third time of her just escaping and then him finding her again. Like I just, of course I'm like right at the end, but like a little bit before this, maybe 50 pages or so, starting to like it again, the banter was picking up a lot more as of right now i do like powerless better because of kai and payton's dynamic i'm hoping that this is kind of just like it's like a oh it just had to be this way because of how the story's plotted for the third book not that the third book is also going to be like repetitive like this you know what i mean because sometimes there's some books where you can you can kind of just tell it's a transition book for the plot and it's still good but it's like nothing can really happen yet because of whatever's going on like nothing can really happen because we have to get to this cliffhanger to get to the next book and I feel like that's kind of what reckless is it's it's giving like it's giving transition book I really wish the series I don't know how it's going to end or anything but I I wish it was plotted out for more than three books because with a trilogy every book should be like action 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 and there's been action in this book but like why is it so repetitive I don't know that's why I hadn't picked up the camera for most of this because I was just trying to like okay let's get to a good part i'm gonna be honest i took a picture of certain quotes we'll go through at the end it's written with that same kind of tension that powerless was and i really really like that back to reading i go <laughs> Chapter 46, make sure you bookmark it. Chapter 46 is crazy. I'm almost to the end, as you can see. But chapter 46 is so cutesy. Kai says, you asked me what my favorite color was once. I'd never even pondered the answer to that question before you. And yet, I realized in that moment that it was blue. It is your eyes. I have a feeling I know what the huge cliffhanger at the end is going to be. I saw someone say it on TikTok, like even before the um even before the book came out. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess. But like reading it, seeing the ones from Kit's point of view, there was a very distinct moment. You're not supposed to know what it is, but it is so blatantly obvious what it is. Maybe it wouldn't be blatantly obvious if I hadn't even read that like little theory thing on TikTok. I don't know, but I have a feeling like I have a feeling that's what it is and I'm scared because if it is that then it's like the foreshadowing was crazy of course I saw that coming you know are you joking are you joking so I was right I literally read it in a TikTok comment it wasn't even a theory video I'm mad I'm mad oh my god the thing is like why was oh my god like, the cliffhanger's crazy. You'll get it if you read it. When I say the way, the way this object 
was described blat it's just so blatantly obvious what the cliffhanger is and i oh my god that's so frustrating i mean it's a good cliffhanger don't get me wrong because it's like oh my gosh oh my gosh why would he do that like it's a good cliffhanger but like i'm mad that it was like kind of foreshadowed so much because in powerless now this is a spoiler for powerless if you if you haven't read it i guess i'm, I'm assuming if you're watching this video you've at least read powerless I guess skip ahead a few seconds if you don't want to hear this but I was genuinely shocked and surprised when Adina died in Powerless I was I like actually didn't see it coming I don't know I don't feel like it was foreshadowed as much it was like oh she works at the castle and all this stuff and like I mean I guess if I really thought about it I could have seen it coming but like while I was reading it and being so engaged that's not what I was thinking about at the forefront of my mind I was thinking about like a million other different things so when that happened, I was very surprised. Now that I'm done, I guess let's get into, let's get into the review. Let's get into my thoughts. Maybe this book will grow on me. Like definitely as I've been reading, I'm just, I just want to point out that there was never a point in this book that I like wanted to DNF it. There was never a point where I was like, this is so bad. Let me not read it. Like I was engaged throughout it, but I still stand by what I said last time and that most of it was so repetitive for no reason and it was not driving the plot it was just like okay they're running away from new people now yay but if you read powerful obviously malachi is introduced as adina's like love interest i feel like there should have been a run-in with mac from powerful there's some theories about how mac and kai are twins somehow i guess i just saw that on reddit mac knew that Peyton and Adina were friends, obviously. He would know, not know, but like it would make sense for him to go up to Peyton and like kind of explain things and kind of like reminisce with her about Adina. I kind of get why that couldn't happen because Peyton was just like running away the whole time. But at the same time, like I'm just a little confused about the plot for this book. Once I got, I swear, 80, 85%, that's where the plot was like more, okay, now we're getting somewhere. I'm like, why did it take the first 300 pages to actually get to the plot because most of the plot is just how she's running away which we already knew and how she how she is running away which we already knew she was doing like when I think about it there were plot points that were important involving her father that further the plot new characters could have been introduced there were like no new supporting characters introduced that I can remember no like memorable things and I feel I still stand by what I said. I really feel like this was like a transition book. It didn't feel like the second book in a trilogy where the next one ends at all. It felt like we're getting a little more into the world building. We're getting a little more into like the dynamics of things. Like I'm still gonna give this book four stars. Don't get me wrong. It was very engaging. I read it fast. I wasn't like struggling to read it, but it was very different than Powerless. And um, I'm a little confused, honestly, but I didn't hate it. Like I did enjoy it. I think I'm I think I'm a little more I think I'm a little more confused than anything. This is one spoiler I am going to talk about. I've seen people on TikTok post this. If you I will put the timestamp. If you literally don't want to know any spoilers about this book regarding Peyton and Kai's like romance, please skip to this timestamp so I don't spoil it. Now that you've stuck around, I know that you want to hear this. So Peyton and Kai do kiss in this book multiple times. The first time they kiss was so anticlimactic. It really was. I was so confused because obviously in the first book, it's like, ooh, are they? No, they don't. Ooh, are they? No, they don't. And the tension is crazy. The tension in this book was like not there. The first time they kissed was when Kai was chasing her I don't remember the scene exactly, but they're like on a rooftop in the dark and it's like, ooh, we're just pretending like she can't see me. I still, I still want her, blah, 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 blah. And they kiss, but like, it's literally within the first 25% of the book. I'm like, why did we go through all of that tension and powerless just for you to give us such an anticlimactic kiss in the first 25% of the second book? Them kissing for the first time should have been towards the end of the book. I'm just upset with how that happened because I was everyone is like oh my god when are they gonna kiss they don't even kiss in the first book and then personally i felt like that scene in itself was so anticlimactic and then throughout the book they literally kiss like three times and every single time after it's like oh my gosh i shouldn't have done that we're enemies it's like that's why you didn't kiss in the first book if you still think that y'all should have been oh no oh no it should have been the same tension until you were sure 
to match their dynamic in the first books. I don't know what happened with that. I'm sorry. It seems like I'm complaining about a lot about this book. I promise I did like it. Like, I really did like it. I think I'm just shocked by the ending. I'm a little upset that the cliffhanger was kind of pretty predictable. But I am very excited for Fearless to come out in April 2025. I'm hoping that this is like a good conclusion i really want to go back and read powerless at some point i have a lot of other books i need to read obviously as you can see i wanted to share with you really quick two quotes from the book that i just really loved like i literally love them so much i took a picture of them you promised to be my undoing so prove it hate me enough to make me want you i cup her jaw feeling her eyes burning into mine ruin me yeah Kai is so back. The Kai content is so back, y'all. That was like my immediate thought when I read that. Okay, second quote. Can we pretend that it's okay not to hate each other in these moments? Yes, pretend. <laughs> there was more, but those are two that like really, really stuck out to me when I read them. I was like, yeah. So that's why I decided to share those because those specifically had my jaw on the floor while I was reading them. For my most anticipated read of the year, yeah, I'm, a, I'm slightly disappointed. That's why I gave it four stars. But ultimately, I love this world. I love these characters. I love Kai. I'm still giving it four stars because it was engaging. There was never a point where I wanted to DNF it. And that says a lot for a book that I kind of have mixed feelings about. Based on that cliffhanger, the third book better be action-packed because this was action-packed, but not in a way that was effective, if that makes any sense. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, I just want to say I really did enjoy this book and I would recommend people continue the series, but there also were a lot of problems for me personally. I know a lot of people like this book and I completely get it. Like the world is epic and I love it. Like I clearly love this book and rated it four stars for a reason. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!